Harry arrives on commercial flight, and will be watching from the third row of the Abbey. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock, please subscribe to stay updated with all latest updates from the British royal family. Prince Harry has reportedly landed in Britain via a commercial flight ahead of his father's official coronation today. Prince Harry arrived in London yesterday morning, May 5, for his father's coronation today morning. The Duke of Sussex reportedly surprised passengers on American Commercial Airlines Flight A136 as he was traveling with them from Los Angeles to London. The Mail Online reports that he landed at 11.23 a.m. at London Heathrow Airport. It was also revealed today that Prince Harry will be seated in the third row in the procession at Westminster Abbey. An insider told revealed that he's set to sit with Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, whom he's spoken of fondly since stepping away from the royal family. Harry confirmed last month that he would be coming without Meghan Markle, who will be home in the US to celebrate Prince Archie's fourth birthday. It is also expected that his trip will be short and he will only attend his father's coronation and not any other activities related to the coronation such as the coronation ceremony. Prince Harry is not also allowed to wear a military uniform for the coronation. The Duke of Sussex will wear a mourning suit for the coronation. It has been reported that Prince Harry will wear a mourning suit instead of military uniform for King Charles' coronation. Harry is only expected to stay in London for Abbey's party before returning to California to join his wife, Meghan Markle, and their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, to celebrate Archie's fourth birthday. All eyes will be on Harry as he confronts his relatives in public for the first time since he blasted Charles, Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales in his memoirs, Spare. The Independent says Harry is expected to wear a mourning suit instead of his military uniform for the ceremony. Harry, who served ten years in the army and did two tours in Afghanistan, was not allowed to wear his uniform at the Queen's funeral, last year and instead wore a black suit. It was said that this decision was because he was not a working member of the royal family. Meghan joined him on the occasion, wearing a black dress and black hat, along with earrings given to her by the late Queen. According to reports, Harry did not make any specific requests regarding his clothes for the coronation and was willing to wear whatever was asked of him. Harry will be relegated to the third row in the convent, where he will be seated alongside his cousins, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. Then Harry quickly gets out and heads back to the States to celebrate Archie's birthday. Preparations for the coronation continued with Jonathan Dimbleby, a close friend of the King, claiming that Charles would be horrified at the thought of the public paying allegiance to him. Cries of God save the King would ring around the Abbey after Archbishop Justin Welby laid St. Edward's crown on Charles' head, but requests from the public to join the pledge at home were met with controversy. At the end of the ceremony, the Archbishop will say, I invite all persons of goodwill in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and in other kingdoms and territories to pay their homage, in heart and voice, to their undoubted King, Defender of all. He would then require all who wished it in the monastery and elsewhere to say together, I swear I will make true allegiance to your majesty, to your heirs and successors according to the law. God help me. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to press the bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video.